as we know, the uh, use of bendamustine rituximab is well established in the treatment algorithm for Waldenstrom's. Um, this came about in uh, 2013 following the prospective STILL trial that compared uh, the combination of BR with RTROP in a randomized phase three clinical trial in uh, a large number of uh, patients with indolent non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, and that uh, trial included a small cohort of uh, patients with Waldenstrom's. And since then, uh, BR has been used fairly uh, consistently in many centers. We undertook a retrospective cohort analysis of 250 patients with Waldenstrom's um, collated from 17 centers in four countries. Um, of these 250 patients, 139 were treated in the frontline setting and 111 were treated in the relapse setting. Um, and we found some fairly remarkable results. Um, we analyzed bendamustine dose received by patients and the impact this had on uh, progression-free survival. And we found that patients who received a dose of 90 milligrams per meter squared for six cycles in the frontline setting performed uh, better in that they had statistically significant progression-free survival compared with those who received a lower dose. So a dose such as 70 milligrams per meter squared for six cycles or um, 90 milligrams per meter squared for four cycles. When I talk about bendamustine dose, um, I of course mean um, 70 or 90 milligrams per meter squared received on days one and two, uh, every four week cycle for uh, the number of cycles I mentioned. Um, now, of course, we took into account that uh, patients who received a higher dose may have been a fitter patients or younger patients, and we adjusted for this. Um, and bearing in mind that bendamustine dose was uh, also chosen at the discretion of the local clinician. Um, but we feel this uh, data, particularly the large numbers of patients that uh, we included in the study, we feel that these data really give us confidence in terms of uh, using a higher dose of bendamustine, or at least attempting to start with a higher dose of bendamustine, and then um, only dose reducing if required. Uh, we had a series of patients who were over the age of 80, so 18 patients over the age of 80, who um, uh, were included in the, in, in the study, um, and uh, a majority of them in the frontline setting, in fact, received that higher dose. The other thing we looked at was the impact of depth of response on survival outcomes, so progression-free and overall survival. Um, it's previously de been debated uh, about whether patients who achieve a CR or VGPR do better in the long term to patients who achieve a partial response. Um, and we found a clear separation of the survival curves that was um, quite significant between patients who achieved a CR, VGPR, and those who achieved a, a partial response. So um, we would uh, suggest that this supports um, a, a target or an aim of a response of a VGPR. Of course, complete remission is difficult to achieve in Waldenstrom's, although we did have a number of patients who did achieve that post-bendamustine rituximab.